Alrighty, so I'm Tactical Potato and this, of course, is more Warframe. What the fuck else would it be? So yesterday we got news of Frost Prime's imminent return to the Void for a limited time along with the return of the Latron Prime and the Reaper Prime, all of which will be farmable from the 8th of December right the way through until January the 5th. It's going to be available on PC as well as both consoles and it's also available through a Platinum package for $60 or 55 euro if you don't have time to farm them in the void and in this package you will also get frost prime latron prime reaper prime as well as the titan extractor prime some profile images and a coveted mesa prime cyandana which is probably one of the best if not the best looking cyandana in the game i will of course leave a link to this news on the warframe website in the description below so while it's great that frost is returning along with these weapons it is only for a limited time so you guys will need to farm like crazy and pray to RNGs, I guess. For some reason, or some crazy reason, I always assumed that when the Vaulted Primes and weapons returned, it would be a permanent thing. I don't know why. Something to do with the new star chart and how the Void was eventually going to be blown up or crumbles and we would no longer have it. We would have new mission types and that is where you would farm all of these Prime items. For some reason, I always assumed that Frost, Ember and the rest of the items that went would be in these new missions. I guess assuming just makes a complete ass out of me. So you guys, like I said, will have one month to farm the Void for these items. Once that month is up, then it's goodbye again for Frost Prime until maybe a later date, who knows. And if you already own Frost Prime and those weapons, then to get the Mesa Cyandana, it will cost you 60 bucks. So good luck with that. It's a crazy amount of money for one small fashion item and maybe the Titan Extractor Prime as well. Is it worth it? I'll let you guys decide. There is a large amount of the player base that will tell you that Warframe's endgame is between fashion and the forums anyway, so maybe it is worth it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this limited time return for Frost and the weapons. Maybe like me, you always assumed that the vaulted items would eventually be a permanent return with the new star chart. I honestly don't know why I even assumed that. It was never implied by anyone. I didn't read it anywhere. I guess I just got it into my head that that's the way things were going to work. Now, I'm sure the original Mesa Cyandana users might be a little bit salty about the return of their favorite item. Let me know if you are, if you're one of them. I will be streaming as well today on Twitch in an unscheduled stream, probably going to play some Battlefront for about an hour and then follow it up by about two and a half hours of Warframe. So if you guys want to come and hang out, then my Twitch is linked in the description below as well. Like I said, let me know what you think of this deal. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. And as always, thanks very much for watching.